Hello everyone, welcome back to another lecture, the second part of lesson three. Um, this is Mixed and Entire Radicals part two. Um, this time we're going to be going the other way. We are going to take um, mixed radicals and we're going to turn them into entire radicals. So as you can see on the document below me and on your paper, um, radicals, um, entire radicals are given in the top row there. Uh, the root of 22, the third root of negative 55, the fourth root of 34. Um, but mixed radicals have a number in front. Um, that's what we've been making. Uh, there's a value A in front of it, and that's been our goal so far. We're going to go the other way around. We're going to go from mixed radicals to entire radicals today. So let's jump right in, um, and I'll show you what we're trying to do. So we have the four, we have four, and then square roots of three. So if we're trying to make this into uh, a, an entire radical, we need to turn this four into a radical. So we need to think about what number we would be able to square root, in this case, because this is a square root, to get four. Well, 16 square rooted would get us four. So that means that like four is equal to the square root of 16. So then I could write this as the root of 16 times the root of three. And that's almost an entire radical. Remember, you can write any um, equation that looks like this. You can write it as the root of 16 times 3. And 16 times 3 is 48. So this would be equal to the root of 48. And that is an entire radical. That is what we're going for. So we went from here to here, when last time we were going the opposite way. Let's do two roots of 11. Uh, what number would I need to square root to get 2? Uh, to me, that's pretty obvious really quick. It's 4. So this would be equal to the root of 4 times the root of 11. The root of 4 times the root of 11 is equal to the root of 44. Okay, There's your value. Let's go to the next two. We have the we have four, no we don't, let's go a little bit farther down, that would help. Okay, we have three cube roots of two. What number do we need to cube root to get three? Well, we would just multiply three uh, by itself three times. Three times three is nine, times three is 27. So that means that we have the third root of 27 multiplied by the third root of two. 27 times 2 is 54, so we have the third root of 54. It's fairly straightforward. You just need to be able to think about what number you would need to um, square root or cube root to get that value. Or essentially, take this value and use the index as its exponent to find out what number it needs to be. Let's do 2 fourth roots of 5. So what number do I need to fourth root to get two? Well, I need to then find out. I take two and I multiply by itself four times. Two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. So that means that I have the fourth root of 16 multiplied by the fourth root of five. Um, we did this number, we did this a little bit earlier. We broke this down, it was 80. Uh, the fourth root of 80 is our final answer. So it is as easy as that. Um, there are two for you to try on your own. So pause the video and give those a try. And then jump back in um, and we'll, we'll go over them together. Okay, let's do this thing. Uh, we have seven square roots of three. So what number do I need to square root to get seven? Well, seven squared is 49. So I have the root of 49 times the root of 3. 49 times 3 is 3 less than one, than 50 times 3, so 147. So this equals the root of 147. Um, if we have two cube roots of 4, what number do I need to cube root to get 2? That would be 8. So I would cube root 8 and multiply it by the cube root of 4. That is 32. This would give us the cube root of 32. Just like that, you are now able to go back and forth between mixed and entire radicals both ways, 
absolutely no problem. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments, send me an email, ask me in class. But thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you soon.